Hello, everybody. This is Gerald Salenti. It's Tuesday, March 26, 2024. And your new Trends Journal's coming out soon. And here's the cover. Yep. Democracy. An idiot's delight. Look at these clowns. Look at these little pieces of stupid, arrogant shit telling you what to do. How dumb can you be to swallow the crap spewing out of their mouths? And that's why you want our shirt. Here it is. Hey, politicians, who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? Oh, how dare I say that? I'm a little cazzone that loves Macron. A little guy with a pecker about that size, if he has one, and phony fucking hair. How about Sunak suck up? Hey, I married this chick. Her old man got billions of dollars. You're a nobody. How about Olaf Scholz? The United States and bullshit Biden, along with Scholz, sent Israel the most money to slaughter the Palestinians. And then, of course, there's nuts Netanyahu. Or I better not say that. He may have me killed. It's a fucking freak show. And a bunch of fucking freaks are running the show. World War III has begun. Get it in your head. Oh, people are now saying, you know, we think World War III has begun. Yeah, we only said this, what? March 22nd, 2022? Two days before the United States? Yep. Two days, two days before Russia invaded from COVID war to Ukraine war to World War. We're in it. Anyway, the markets. Oil prices are going to escalate. They just attacked Israel, just bombed away again over Syria, killed a bunch of people from the World Health Organization and some Iranians. Iran gets involved militarily with Israel. You're going to see Brent crude go to above $130 a barrel, and that's going to destroy, destroy the equity markets and the global economy. And we're on the verge of that. And what have we been warning in the Trends Journal for how long? That Ukraine, to get back in the news, to do anything they can, they're going to accelerate their attacks inside of Russia. Oh, wow, what a surprise that 139 people were killed at that concert hall and hundreds seriously wounded, which they're blaming on ISISs, which Russia says is, you know, there's more to it than that. And they're blaming Ukraine, the United States, and the UK for being involved in it. Oil prices going up. How about the end of the world going up? Gold. Gold today hit over $2,200 an ounce, backed off. Selling now $1,180 an ounce. What was one of our top trends for 2024? Golden year for gold. That's it. Along with World War III and EVs go F you. And in your trends journal, more F you information about EVs. And the idiots in charge is saying we got to go electric vehicles. I and mean, you got a bunch of, again, look at the cover of your trends journal. These are the fucking shitheads telling you, don't call them fucking shitheads. I'm a demo crap. Oh, no, no. I suck up and bow down to Trump. That's how fucked up I am. That arrogant fucking prick. That narcissistic shit. Oh, today. Today he came out. Oh, yeah, Trump's talking out. Yep. Trump tells Israel it made a big mistake. In an interview with Israeli Hayam newspaper, Trump said, it's a very bad picture for the world. The world is seeing this every night. I would watch buildings pour down on people. Go and do what you have to, but you don't do that. And I think that's one of the reasons that there has been a lot of kickback. One of the reasons it's genocide in front of everybody's eyes. Oh, this is from Human Rights Council. Anatomy of genocide just went out yesterday. 
Israel's committing genocide. Trump goes on, spewing out more bullshit. If people didn't see that every single night, I'd watch and every single one of those. And I think Israel wanted to show that it's tough, but sometimes you shouldn't be doing that. Look at the way this fucking guy talks. You shouldn't be doing that. He goes on to say that um, he would have acted very much the same way as you did with after Hamas did that. Only a fool would not do that, Trump added. You have to finish up your war. You got to get it done. And I'm sure you're going to do that. Huh. Listen, before I go on, remember to subscribe. Click the bell, the icon for notification, because they're going to do everything they can to shut us up. So please do what you can to keep the truth going. Because Trump, to me, is a bunch of fucking shit. Because this is the who moved America's <clears throat> embassy in Israel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. He's the guy that said to Israel, hey, you know that land you stole? The Golan Heights, it's yours. Yeah, that's the Trump. That's the Trump, and this is one of the articles in this week's Trends Journal. U.S. media ignores fact <clears throat> that Kushner loves genocide. Get rid of Palestinians and develop Gaza waterfront property. Donald Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, the little daddy's boy, born on third base and thinks he had a home run, told an event at Harvard earlier this month, quote, Gaza's waterfront property would be very valuable if people would focus on building up livelihoods. Ready? It's a little bit of an unfortunate situation there. A little bit of an unfortunate situation. They're fucking slaughtering people there. What do you mean a little bit of an unfortunate situation? Some 70% of the people's homes have been destroyed. They're starving. Unfortunate situation. But from Israel's perspective, I would do my best to move the people out of there and clean it up and put the Palestinians into the Negev desert. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? A little fucking piece of genocidal shit. And, and for all you Trump lovers, yeah, Trump was the guy, Jared Kushner's dad, Charles, who Trump pardoned, gave $1 million to a Trump super PAC. This was reported in, um, August by Business Insider. Charles Kushner, the father of Donald Trump's son-in-law and a recipient of one of the former president's final pardons, donated a million dollars to the Trump super PAC. Kushner's pleading guilty in 2004 to a host of federal charges, including witness tampering and tax evasion. In one of the most salacious aspects of the case, Kushner hired a sex worker to lure his brother-in-law and then sent the video of their encounter to his sister. This is the fucking prick. This is the Kushner family. Hey, what are you going to build a Trump Tower over there? World War III started. Going back to oil prices. Again, they're attacking Iran again. If Iran gets involved militarily in this, forget about it. You're going to see, again, oil prices are going to spike. Gold prices are going to spike. And nuclear war is going to spike. So get, don't forget to bend over and kiss your ass goodbye because that's all you're going to be able to do if we don't have peace. Now, it's just terrible. Just terrible what's going on. Oh, and that bill that they just passed in the United States, the uh, latest uh, funding bill, $3.4 billion to keep sending more weapons of death so Israel could keep slaughtering innocent people. And now going back into your Trends Journal on the economic front. The markets are going to stay strong as long as they keep bringing down interest rates. It's as simple as that. More cheap money, more gambling. And, and the story. 
But again, there are the wild cards. And the wild cards are World War III. And then what we have to start looking at is the office building bust that's going to happen. And that's going to bring down the banks. The office building bust is already going on. It, it, there's going to be defaults like we've never seen before. No one, no one is talking about this. I'm so sad. I used to love the Wall Street Journal. Now I call it the Wall Shit Journal. There's nothing there. It's just stupid crap. I used to get great data from them. Now we have to work much harder to find more data because it's not being reported. So on the economic front, you're not going to want to miss our economic update now, market overview. Home sales, where they're going. Very important. Again, the office building bus is only going to worsen. And February home sales, see where they are and see where they're going. And what, what else is going on? You know, trends on the global economic front, the job cuts, the business is going out of business, the numbers are real, and the numbers are terrible. And, and what's going on over there in Japan, in Europe, one after another, and you ready for this? SWIFT is going to launch a central bank digital currency. Go back to your trends journals going back to 2017. We warned about this again, over and over again, going from dirty cash to digital trash. Goes back to Bitcoin. Cryptocurrencies are going to, there he goes. That, 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 was, that was back in, uh, let's say that was four years ago. That cover. Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies are going to go down when they ban them, when all the central banks go digital. It's as simple as that. But that's a long way away. And again, Top trends for 2024, whole section in here, banks go bust. What's going on in the luxury market? The fish rots from the head down. Don't forget it. And you see what's going on there. Oh, and by the way, in China, talking about gold, they're buying it up like crazy. The middle class is going down. Gold sales are going way up. This year already in China, <laughs> the... Plantation workers of Slavelandia over there have increased their gold purchases nearly 25% from last year. And China's central bank is the biggest buyer of gold, according to the World Gold Council. So again, and then a whole section on the Israeli war. Ah, just breaks my heart to see what's happening. Featured guest articles by Dr. Joseph Mercola and a, a Remedy for Acute Chronic Conditions by Dr. Price. Article by uh, Nisha and John Whitehead, The Language of Force, How the Police State Muzzles Our Right to Speak Truth to Power. Yep. Trends in the Market. You're not going to want to miss this one by Gregory Manorino. You ready? Get ready. Expect massive price action distortions to worsen. Whole section, Trends in Technocracy by Joe Duran. Again, I keep showing his book week after week, month after month. Be human. This guy knows about technocracy and what they're doing to us. More than anybody that I know, you got this week in surveillance. Trends in cryptos, trends in geopolitics. They're going to keep ramping up the Ukraine war. What happened over there with the blowing up of that, that uh, concert hall is just the beginning. And all of what's going on. And the French general says that their army is ready for war. Top Polish warmonger says Western troops in Ukraine is, quote, an open secret. And that little guy over there in West Virginia, Mnuchin, keep ramping up the Ukraine war. God help us. And they're selling this bullshit along with Lloyd Austin, the, the, the Secretary of Defense, that if we don't stop it over there, the United States is being threatened. It's been going on between fucking Ukraine and, and Russia for what, Catherine the Great? It's none of our business. 
And what else do we have here? Oh, oh. <laughs> trends I views. Yep. Young Americans seek into sadness. Trends in high tech science by Ben Davis. And a whole section on trends in AI. This is real. AI, we own you. That's the future. And we I tell every young person everywhere, learn as much about this as you possibly can. Love it, hate it, ain't the issue. Trends are born, they grow, they mature, reach old age, and die. This trend has just been born. It's new. Learn everything you can about it. It is un the unfortunate future. We call things the way they are, not the way we want them to be. So don't forget tomorrow, tune in, 6 p.m. Eastern time for Salenti and the Judge. And again, subscribe to the Trends Journal if you want to read history before it happens, because we've been ahead of the curve. They're not even close to what we're reporting. Matter of fact, now it's like big news that other people are coming out and warning about a banking crisis. Yeah, no shit. It, again, and, and the big banks, they're saying they're going to be protected. No, they won't. This thing is going to be big. It's going to be, it's again, but don't worry. When all those fails, they take you to war because World War III is going to heat up unless we have peace. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you soon.